How's it going guys and welcome to the mini toy love channel. Today I have another Japanese snack taste testing video. I haven't done one of these in a while and I thought today's perfect because I'm hungry right now <laughs> and I had some Japanese snacks that I purchased all at Mitsua. I have a couple shopping blogs um, up on my channel as well. I'll have to link those below but here's the variety of items. I have these new Haichu fizzies. They look awesome. This is a beef tongue which I'm really interested about that and then a Mimikyu and Pikachu little um, I think those are hard candies. So lots of cool stuff. Let's go ahead and start trying. I gotta start with Mimikyu because he's absolutely my favorite. Look at that face and it looks like he's gonna be a great snack. Um, let's see, let's open it this way. Maybe save the cute little face. So these are the sort of like sweet tart looking candies. These have a very light grape candy flavor and they sort of just dissolve gradually in your mouth. So very good. I'll put them in first place now. I always like to rank them. <laughs> Next, let's do something savory with this umaibo. I think they're called umaibos. They're like the little corn sticks. And this is the guyatan, which I know I'm pronouncing incorrectly, but it's the beef tongue. And at the Mitsuo Marketplace I go to, they actually have um, a very cool barbecue beef tongue place that is amazing. I, It's it's quite the, the delicacy. So let's see if they capture that flavor in this little corn snack. Okay, so you just tear from the top and then, ooh, you have your big corn stick there. I see some herbs and stuff on the side, so let's give it a try. So it's very interesting. It does have that barbecue flavor going on, so I will say it has hints of what the beef tongue tastes like. Um, Wow, that's very interesting, but you still get like the corn kind of flavoring too. So I like it. It's it's actually really good. Um, hmm, I'm gonna put it behind Mimikyu though, so it'll be in second place. Back to something sweet. Um, they make this little series, and you guys may know the name, but this bear appears in many forms. Like here's the green bear, there's a pink bear. Um, there's just a ton of these, and I think this one is the butter cookie one. I think that one's more of a savory one that we'll try later. So let's open it up. So they come on this nice little dish, which is awesome. It helps prevent your cookies from getting broken. And they're mini. And that's a real yummy butter cookie. It's not too hard. It's not soft either, but um, it's very nice. So I'll put it in third place, but it's not bad. I just like those two more. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try these Kelpie chips. Um, look at the little happy foods and stuff. Like that's one thing I love, like the Japanese packaging on all of their products. So it looks like we're gonna have um, maybe three different flavors going on. Let's see. And Kelpie makes a lot of stuff. You can find them at Daiso as well. Okay, so I'll pour out some veggie chips. So they're kind of like the, the puff chips. I like how they're heart shaped. So let's try a red one. I don't know if that's supposed to be the tomato-ish one, but they definitely have that veggie tip, um, veggie chip airy type taste. The green's good. It's hard to see if they have a distinct flavor per color, but um, maybe the green one's a little bit stronger because it might have um, green pepper, but they're good. They're very light, airy snack. In terms of ranking, I will go ahead and put them in front of the butter cookie. Feeling a little bit more savory today, maybe. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Next, I've been really wanting to try these Haichu fizzies. Haichu's awesome. It looks like there's like an orange cream soda and a cola one which I love cola candies. Um, so let's try to find one of each. Oh, cool. Wow, that all kind of came out. My bad. <laughs> so here's the orange soda, the cool cola. I'm going to try the cola one first. So I think that middle part is the fizzy part. Of course, they're very 
soft but still like a chewy gummy texture. So you don't get too much of a fizz. It's not like a Pop Rocks or anything like that. It's just like a little bit of a different texture than a normal high chew. Um, but the cola flavor is really good. The cola flavor is on point. So let's try the orange soda one too. So here's a look at that. It has the little white center as well. Um, it may not be a cream soda. It might just be straight up orange soda. So again, nothing too fizzy going on there. Um, I like the cola one better than the orange one. So I think I will separate them. I'll actually put the cola one before the chips. <laughs> it has a very nice cola flavor. Okay, so this one is my last savory item, and it's that cute little green bear this time around. So nice display, and these look like crispy rice crackers. I think they may be soy sauce flavored. So these are really yummy. Um, a nice snack. They're very, very crispy and crunchy and well seasoned. So I think they're going to go in second place. <laughs> I can't knock Mimi Q out of first place, <laughs> but they're, they're super tasty. And then the last item is the Pikachu candy. So will he override the awesome great flavor of Mimi Q? We'll see. I like pineapples, but I'm not sure about pineapple candies. So same little pellet type thing. And it actually has a really good subtle pineapple flavor. I like it. It's not like too artificial and overpowering. So he doesn't beat out Mimi Q, but I think he beats out the veggie chips. <laughs> I'm going to put Pikachu right there. So here's my final rating. The Cola High Chew does beat out Pikachu. So I, I pushed them back one. You guys will have to let me know which snack looked to be the most interesting that you would want to try. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you see anything on a Mitsuwa shopping vlog that you are interested in seeing or hearing me try, <laughs> let me know in the comments below as well, and I'll try to pick it up on my next visit. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do post a new video each day, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.